I was taught that uh, after the penal inflate penal processes, it is uh, uh, it is safe to say that your penis will be get shortened about an inch at maximum, like a 2.4 centimeters or something like that. And um, I was trying to tell my patients that, and they said, "Why?" I don't know. You get your penis get erected, and the shortening is uh, inevitable. That's what you have to live with. But me myself, who was talking that story to my patients, was not able to accept it. What if I getting a penile implant and I have to lose my length? Two centimeter in the height wise, it is not a big deal. But in the, in here. No, <laughs> I didn't want it. So that's the reason why I started to think about more about the size, how to get it, I mean, restored. Uh, what I'm saying is not strictly, uh, uh, not all the physicians will be uh, will agree with me, with me. And the my own results is it shows uh, different results than the others. There's a blooming stories about the uh, blooming theories about the we do not shorten the penis after the surgery. But actually, my papers and my research shows that uh, we restore the size. Penis will shrink if they have erectile dysfunction. The size and the function, I'll say in my eyes, they go the same way. The lower the function, the, the smaller the size. It will be that way. Then, the purpose of the, this treatment is to make to, for the patient's satisfaction, which means that size is important. Every man, we know that our size is important. So, I believe the goal of the treatment and the way we should do the surgery should be able to meet the needs of the patient. That's why I focus on the size. I try to give them the, the best size ever, what they can have. Uh, so, uh, after all, size matters, right?